Burlington, Vermont. My name is Christine Moriarty, and we're with Your Money Bus. And Your Money Bus is sponsored by Kiplinger's and NAFA to help w financially educate people. We had a question today, or I had the question today, that someone wants to know they had a bad year financially last year, a better one this year, and their son is starting their first year of college this fall. So they wanted to find out how they should set up their business to make it more advantageous for them to get financial aid. This is the type of question I get often and one of the things I always try and educate people on first and foremost is do not make a financial decision for one reason alone. Making a financial decision for one reason alone will often bring more problems in another part of their business or another part of their financial life. So as we were talking, we talked about the two places that they could put some of their earnings from a good year like this that would help them out. First is what not to do. What not to do is not to put the money in your child's name. That's the, the biggest thing because more of that money will be used for their college education financial aid package. They'll consider that as, financial aid will consider that as part of being what's needed. So on, on the other end is they could put more of their earnings from this year into their retirement plan and into their house, essentially funding their retirement rather than financial aid. Also put money away for financial aid. So do not make a decision like should I be an S-Corp, a C-Corp, or a sole proprietorship only with the information of financial aid in mind. Make it with more reasons in mind and don't forget to fund college, retirement, and paying off your mortgage at the same time. Thanks from Burlington, Vermont.